it's me Colleen and I am a finger fluid artist. Today is my first video tutorial and showing you how to create finger fluid art. I will go over creating the background, the foregrounds, and combining the paints and also the colors to create beautiful art with shading and textures. Thank you. Please stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to give you a close-up of the painting we have done so far. We've only worked on the background and I left it to draw. Now, when you have a background and it's drying, sometimes accidents happen. For instance, this. And uh, sometimes you miss things on the on the, uh, the canvas and uh, sometimes the painting goes where you don't want it. Now this is finger fluid art and it's frustration free. All you do is look at what paint you were using and just mix them up. And remember to keep it marbleized because that's how finger fluid art is. I'm mixing some blue and blue and white together just like that and I'm using my fingers and I'm just going to mix the blue in and I'm going to touch my painting up I'm going to touch it up to the sides here and also here I'm going to touch it up here And wherever else it needs touching up here some green gap in places that it should not you basically is just putting the ends together doing the edges using the marbleized paint now in some places the it's okay if the canvas shows through a bit especially when you're using white I'm going to do some here. I'm not going to get rid of all the white. Especially when you're using white, you can see the canvas through the white paint and some of the lighter colors. And that's fine. Okay, I, I have put some glitter in and it doesn't really show up that much. So I'm going to refrain from putting this particular type of glitter until after. Uh, the painting has dried. Now that the painting has dried, I'm going to put. I'm going to put uh, some glitter in. Not a lot. Just here and there. Okay. Hold on. First, I have to take these um, the stoppers off. Okay, I'm going to keep the green where the green are. And I'm just touching it up. Okay. There you go. Alright. So you just do whatever works. And now I'm just going to touch it up here and there. Not, not everywhere. Just to add a little glitter. I'm going to be put in the foreground with a tree. And I'm going to also put a, some glitter on the foreground. Mm. I'm just adding a little on the background for now. Okay? And over here, if you don't like what's there, you can fix that also. Um, finger fluid art, it's very um, easy to fix and to mend. There's no need for you to become frustrated when things don't go this way. Okay, so okay, what I'm gonna do is mix this in here. Okay, now I'm doing the foreground. The, fo the foreground is going to be 
much more vivid colors so I'm going to be using more yellow and with the greens and the blues so I'm going to marbleize that and then I'm going to be doing oops it's kind of windy here today okay we need something area here I don't particularly like the way that is looking so I'm going I'm mixing some paint some blues and greens and I'm going to fix that I'm mixing this uh, yellow yellowish green with some blue to make a vivid green and I'm just touching it up I'm touching it up because I'm not I'm not liking what's going on here, so I'm doing something that I like better. And in finger fluid art, that's easy to do, because everything is fluid, right? And so, on the sides here, I'm going to touch that up also, do some white and blue spots over on this side. I'm just touching it. Okay. Now it's a hot day and the paint is drying pretty fast, so I have to move pretty fast. Okay, now the edges here, as you can see, need some touching up. So I'm gonna mix the yellow and the blue again and I'm going to touch that up. <laughs> 